Coram Satis suit me, sir. Well, then you remember it. Your predecessor did not. This is Elizabeth, the cook. Hello. You'll find that she's a little deaf. Hello. Oh, Elizabeth, this is our new housemaid. I was explaining her duties to her. She'll be down in a moment. Very good, sir. I'll see you downstairs. She's a tartar, isn't she? You've come. Is this a dream? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? No, or this? no, 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 no. We are strangers hardly met. What manner of man are you, Giacomo? What manner of man is Giacomo? Ha, <laughs> ha! And I offer myself to you, all of me. My heart, my lips, my legs. How'd you like to spoon with me? I'd like to. How'd you like to spoon with me? Well, Rob. Though now and again I'm aware that my candid opinion may sting. Though often my frank observation might scold. I've been meaning to tell you for years you should keep your hair natural like mine. If I kept my hair natural like yours, I'd be bald. <laughs> but I say that your sense of style's as far off as your youth. It's simply that. Who else but a bosom buddy will tell you the whole stinking... I'd like to tell you about the... Uh, um... Oh, we were just talking about your party, son. What party? Your coming home party to celebrate your return from the war. We can have the Wilsons and the Palm Freds. Oh, yes, they're a must. They get absolutely hilarious at parties. <laughs> they get absolutely stoned is what they get. Yes. You know, this is very important. I want the nominee to be dead about two minutes after he begins his acceptance speech, depending on his reading time under pressure. You are to hit him right at the point that he finishes the phrase, nor would I ask of any fellow American in defense of his freedom that which I would not gladly give myself. My life before my liberty. Is that absolutely clear? What's that got to do with my knob? I must go to London immediately and see Professor Brown. With his help, we may be able to bring this war to a successful end. That is why I need the knob. What is your decision? The hot water is really boiling, for tea. Certainly, madam. Yes. I don't suppose it's really drunk by a million Mexicans, but it does make a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> by the way, my name is Freud. Did you say Freud? No, Freud, not Freud. Freud. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Freud rhymes with joy. <laughs> oh, Freud, Freud. I'm a children's governess and music teacher. 
I've just spent an unforgettable four years here in Bavaria. And now I'm going back to England. To Brighton, really. That's where my home is. Mm -hmm. But with things the way they are, it seemed best for me to be off home. Shame, isn't it, really? We had such lovely times together at the castle. Hello, Aunt Jane. Miss Marple had a, a, snow, a, a nose for mystery, you know, and uh, uh, intellectually she, she didn't really have the, the paraphernalia required to be a detective, but, a, but as an elderly woman who had a kind of a nose for mystery, she was quite unique. Uh, uh, Jessica, on the other hand, I think was a far sharper sort of character. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> I was so busy typing. You see, this is the moment. This is the moment where the Lebanese cook is going to make it look as if Alicia committed suicide in the pantry. Oh, I am so silly. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? This is my latest book. My uh, sixth, I think. My name, I think you know, J.B. Fletcher. <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, I hope to goodness that those stories are going to be okay. It just goes to show it doesn't pay to listen to idle gossip. When Howard Ashman and Alan Menken first sent me the demo tape of Alan singing the title song, Beauty and the Beast, I thought to myself, my goodness, can I ever do this beautiful lyric justice? But when Disney showed me the drawings for the snuggly, beaming little Mrs. Potts, I said to myself, I knew this kind of little cockney lady when I was growing up in London. And from that memory is exactly where I found her voice. Tale as old as time. True as it can be, barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change, small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared. Beauty and the Ever just the same, ever a surprise, ever as before, ever just as sure as the sun will rise. Tale as old as time, tune as old as song. For you, my dear. to the cupboard with your chip. It's past your bedtime. Good night, love.
wanted a chance, the opportunity to work with this great actor. And, you know, these things don't happen necessarily at my time of life. What's that got to do with my knob? <laughs>